Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be an is it worth the hype video. Um, I have done one of these in the past and I got a lot of good feedback from you guys so I figured I would do another one and this is with more updated products, um, stuff that has recently came out and that has recently, recently been hyped up here on YouTube. And um, what I mean by hyped up is people um, tell you about the products and how amazing they are. They tell you to go out and buy them and try them. And this is my honest opinion about what I think about these products. Um, so throughout the video, I will be showing you guys products that have been hyped up here on YouTube. And I will be telling you if I think they're worth the hype or if I do not think they're worth the hype. Um, I do have a lot of products here um, that I'm going to mention. And so I'm going to try to go through them pretty fast so it's not like a 30 minute long video. But I do have a lot of things. So let's just go ahead and jump into them. So the first thing that I am going to talk about is something that I purchased because um, I've heard two of my favorite YouTube gurus here talk about how amazing it is. And it is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. And this is what it looks like. Um, mine is in the shade 240. And this is a whipped foundation. Um, it's very, very, very full coverage. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about it here on YouTube. I just noticed that it completely dries out my face. I mean, I have to use a very, very little amount for this stuff or it looks like I have a lot of makeup on my face, which I don't really like. I like the concept of the whipped um, foundation, the whipped cream. Um, I have the CoverGirl whipped foundation and I absolutely love that stuff. Um, this, however, is extremely, extremely thick and I just don't like the consistency of it. It takes forever for it to dry and mattify on my face. Um, it feels really, really sticky for a good like 10 minutes after I apply it. Um, I don't absolutely hate this product, but I do have a lot of foundations um, in my collection that I would definitely go to instead of this. Um, I bought this, I wanna say like a month, maybe two months ago, and it's still almost full. Um, Again, I just, for the price, this is like 14 or $15, and it's just not worth it for me. So is it worth the hype? Absolutely not, in my opinion. Again, I'm gonna keep going with the face products, and I will go on to a eye corrector. And this is the CoverGirl NLA Simply Ages Eye Corrector. Mine is in number 230. It did get discontinued, um, but I did hear that they were repackaging it. And this one is like a pot that you stick your finger in and put it all over your eyes. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely yes. Sadly, again, it was discontinued. Um, if you did get your hands on it, you guys lucked out. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome product. It lasts forever. Um, as you can see, I've been using it. I used it like for a month, um, just every day. And I still have a lot of product left. So amazing, amazing product. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. And if you guys did get your hands on it again, you guys are really, really lucky. So the next product that I'm going to talk about is a concealer. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It looks like this. Um, mine is in fair. Um, I absolutely love this as you can see again I absolutely love this stuff. This has been in many of my favorites videos. absolutely love it so so much Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. If you haven't gone and picked it up definitely pick this up amazing a product so going on to um, an actual highlighting product um, this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. Mine is in the color Radiant. I do like this a lot but I think I like my L'Oreal a lot more. Go ahead and get it. This is what I'm talking about. I absolutely love the L'Oreal one. This specific one, it's not really worth the hype for me, but I do like it. I mean, it's still a pen that I do gravitate towards, but again, I think I like the L'Oreal a little bit better. So is it worth the hype? Not so much in my opinion. Going on to a face powder is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder and mine is in the color Natural and this is what it looks like. So this is a mattifying powder. Um, again, it's a pressed powder. Uh, they have anywhere from translucent all the way up to different matching skin tone shades. Um, this 
I do not think is worth the hype. There are many, 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 many mattifying products out there. Um, this, I do not think is one of my favorites. So is it worth the hype for me? No. I really, really do enjoy the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. Um, sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. Um, and I also like the NYC powder, Pressed Powder in Translucent. Those are extremely, extremely good mattifying powders. If you're looking for a more inexpensive one, go for the NYC, but I swear by the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder and the primer, especially together, they're awesome. So is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder worth the hype? I don't think so. Um, again, this is my opinion. Um, I noticed it kind of makes me look like I do have a lot, a lot of makeup on. For now, I just... I will not be repurchasing another one of these. Moving on, um, let's see. I do have a bronzer to talk about, and this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny. And this is what it looks like. Um, this, I swear to God, every YouTube guru has this bronzing powder. And I first seen Emily Noel, Emily Eddington on her channel, rave and rave and rave, and hype this product up so, so much. And I believed her and I went out and purchased it and I gotta say this is one of the best bronzers that I've ever tried. Um, if you're looking for an inexpensive natural bronzer, this is definitely, definitely, definitely one to get. Super inexpensive, um, super lightweight, super easy to blend out. Um, again, really inexpensive. It's just an all around great, great bronzer. So is it worth the hype? Absolutely. If you haven't picked this product up, go pick it up right now i'm telling you you're gonna be in love have a couple blushes here to show you and they are the milani baked blushes um again every youtuber hypes these up every youtuber has at least one favor of the milani baked blushes i have three in my collection so far i think i might even have one more i don't know so this one right here is coralina very 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 pretty color swatch it for you guys really really peachy um just a really pretty coral shade um then i have luminoso which is a very natural um kind of like a coral like nude and that's that one right here you can barely barely see it, it has um slight undertones of orange in it um and then i have red vino which this is absolutely gorgeous um, it's like a plummy berry color. Just an amazing, 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 amazing formula. Um, is it worth the hype? Absolutely. I love the Milani baked blushes. Again, everyone has at least one favorite of the Milani blushes. If you're scared about how um, shimmery they are, don't be. Um, they're, 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 it's not like you have big globs of glitter on your face. It's very, very... Um, smooth it's really really easy to blend out um, they're really really sheer but yet they give you that natural glow to your skin um, they have a really amazing amazingly beautiful finish to them and I just absolutely love them are they worth the hype absolutely go try one out my favorite is actually luminoso um, I don't know if I said this in my last favorite but this one is such a beautiful everyday blush I love it Love it, love it, love it. My favorite. I also have a highlighter, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, in Reserve Your Cabana. And this is what it looks like. Um, mine broke, so I actually fixed it, and so that's why it's so messy and clumpy looking. But um, if you haven't seen how to fix your broken powders, then I'll link that video below. Um, but this is what it looks like. Everyone here on YouTube says they use it as a highlighter. I don't know. It's just a really, really... Um, like powdery substance it doesn't have much sheen to it at all which I like my highlighters to have like a sheen to them not like a glitter but like a sheen because it is a highlighter and this one just doesn't have it for me it doesn't do it for me so this product is absolutely not worth the hype for me at all there's many 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 other highlighters out there that are the same price if not less expensive and that will actually give you that beautiful like glow to your face and so this one just didn't do it for me so is it worth the hype 
No. Now I have um, a couple eye products and then some lip products. Um, the first eye products that I have to show are the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil. And this one is an almond. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a swatch really quick. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, these are super, super, super blendable. Um, they have many shades. Um, this, is it worth the hype? Absolutely. I love this. Um, I haven't tried any of the other ones, but the almond is absolutely beautiful. I think it's continuous almond. Continuous almond. It's amazing. I love this. I love this so much. It does not crease at all. Yes, it is worth the hype. Go pick it up right now. Super, super inexpensive also. Um, the next, um eyeshadow base that I have is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, is this worth the hype? Absolutely. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of YouTubers rave about this. Um, it's just a white jumbo pencil. I um, have not gone and picked up any of the other ones because I don't have a need. But even if you're doing bright colors, if you put down that white, it's going to make those other colors stand out a bunch. So you really only need one. And if you're doing like a darker color, I would definitely stick to the um, continuous almond. But is it worth the hype? Absolutely. I love that jumbo milk pencil for pretty much any look. So is it worth the hype? Absolutely. Um, now I have an eyeliner and it is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in Nude. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. Uh, I use this on an everyday basis um, and I line my waterline with it. Absolutely love it. Is it worth the hype? Yes, 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 yes. If you haven't gone and tried this out, try it out because you're missing out. A couple mascaras, well actually four mascaras that have been extremely hyped up here on YouTube. The first one is the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. I absolutely love this brush so much. Um, I don't really coat my upper lashes with it. I use it for my bottom lashes. Um, it's doesn't build up enough mascara on my top lashes for me but for my bottom lashes I use this thing all day every day I love this so much is it worth the hype yes um the second one would be the um Jordana best La best lash extreme volumizing mascara um is this worth the hype um no um, you could definitely go without this product. What I do like to use it for um, is my bottom um, lashes. I do not like how it reacts on my upper lashes. Um, but like I always say, different mascaras work for different people. So you may absolutely love this. But as for me, it's not worth the hype and it's not worth the money. So you can definitely pass on this one. Um, another one is the Maybelline the Falsies Big Eyes and is the double sided mascara. I did a first impressions on this mascara and I'll go ahead and link it below. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. Love this, love this, love this. I cannot say enough good things about it. I think within like the first two weeks I completely ran out of this mascara. So this is the um, first or the upper lashes and then this is the lower lashes. And I absolutely love it. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below if you haven't seen this. Is this worth the hype? Yes. Go get your hands on this product. Um, and the last mascara that I have is the Lash Out Butterfly by L'Oreal or the Butterfly Mascara. Um, it has a really, really unique wand to it. it has the pr plastic bristles on it that I absolutely love. Um, I absolutely love this mascara. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. Absolutely. Go get your hands on this one. If you want some good mascaras, I would definitely try these ones out. I absolutely love these three. For an eyeshadow, I have the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pressed Pigment, and this is an Amber Rush. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this color. Um, is this worth the hype? Yes. I am so totally going to go out and get more shades of these because these are absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It really is. It's right here. Just really, really, really pretty. You don't need a lot of product with it. It lasts a long time. Um, it's super easy to blend out and work with, and it's just amazing. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this color. Again, it's an Amber Rush. Are these worth the hype? Absolutely. So now I have a couple lip products, and that will wrap up my entire video. 
Um, the first ones I'll start out with um, are the um, Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. If you see my last Is It Worth the Hype video, I mentioned Baby Lips um, at the very, very end, and I said that I absolutely hated them. They're not worth the hype. Do not waste your money. Then they popped out with another um, like neon line. Skipped that completely because I wanted nothing to do with it. But then they came out with the Doctor Rescue, the Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. Picked up one, which this is the very soft one. It looks like that. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, I love chapsticks. I'm completely obsessed with chapsticks. I love Blistex, Carmex, whatever chapstick you throw at me, I am in love with. And so when these came out and I tried them, I fell in love. Um, they have like the tingling, minty, menthol um, that a regular chapstick would have, but they have like that Maybelline whisper, like soft kiss of color that goes on your lips. Really, really smooth, really, really hydrating. So I went out and picked up another one and this is the color Just Peachy. Absolutely love this for an everyday um, lip color. Again, very, very moisturizing. Are these worth the hype? Absolutely. If you're into that, like, Vicks, like, you love Carmex and all those types of things, you will enjoy these. And if you haven't picked them up and tried them out, I definitely recommend that you try them out. If you didn't like the originals, I guarantee you will probably like these ones because I hated the originals. Second to last thing are the Maybelline Elixirs. Um, these came out not too long ago. I got one and this is in Dashing Orchid. It's like a, a purple like berry color. And I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like right here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say, is it worth the hype? Absolutely not. Save your money on these things. These little suckers are expensive and they do not last. They're extremely drying on your lips. Um, when they go on your lips, they're very, very, very sheer. Um, unless you are constantly building up the color. Again, they do not last long. And this little sucker, I want to say was like eight bucks. So definitely not worth it at all. Save your money. Okay guys. So the last product that I am going to mention in this video is the Revlon matte bomb stains and seriously who has not heard about these lip products right everybody has been talking about how great these are and how beautiful they are and how amazing they are and how everyone should own them and because all the stores are sold out of them you need to order them online or blah 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 right so I'm just gonna say if you haven't found them and you haven't picked them up save your money guys um, these are extremely, extremely drying, extremely patchy. So I want to start off by saying that I have been liking, really, really, really liking the color of this one specifically. Um, I just really, really wish that they had a different formula. Um, this is 235 Mischievous and that's what this one looks like. It's just the most beautiful orange that I have ever seen. and. I just wish they weren't so patchy like they like if you have dry lips it clings on to every little dry spot that you have on your lips and I hate that I never wear these alone um, I do wear this one I've been wearing it all month and it will be in my monthly favorites I absolutely have been loving this color but I cannot wear it alone because it is so patchy um, the other one I have is 250 standout and I honestly have not even been able to wear it because it is that patchy. Um, I could probably, so with this one, I've been putting a gloss over it. So that's probably what I would do with this one too. But I mean, these are supposed to be matte bombs. They're supposed to be matte, not glossy. They're not, they're not lacquer bombs. And so it just, it just sucks that the formula is just so drying. Um, and I don't have dry lips. That's the thing is I don't have dry lips and it still looks my life. It still makes my lips look like I've never even applied chapstick on them. So I don't know. If you were to ask me, are these worth the hype? I would say no. I will still wear them. I will. I will still wear them, but these will not be mattes for me. I will. I refuse to wear these as mattes because they just make my lip, lips look so horrible. So if you're wondering if you should spend your money on these, um, I would say save your money. 
don't do it. Um, is it worth the hype? Absolutely not. So that concludes my is it worth the hype video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it's long. I tried to get through it as fast as I could. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me some comments on what you would like to see in my next is it worth the hype video. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys.